What is going on guys, we're here with Jamo vs Zutras for ulti round 5 Losers bracket, I recorded the winner of the series played for round 6 already And I recorded that live, but it feels like something is missing If I don't bring you guys the round 5 match as well So we're gonna get right into it, this is game 1 This is most likely gonna be a shift game mag that can win the game for Jama. Uh, Zutras is forced to go into his own mag, he just plays it safe someone goes for Florican uh, Zutras can now go for Volt Switch predicting the packs or he can double into his own land because that covers the packs and the opposing landers and so he makes a double into landers here um, so Jama can now get up a T-spec here anticipating the rocks which is a bit risky because he needs this um, somewhat healthy the packs for a potential battle bond Greninja and Zutras knows that Jama needs it healthy now goes for U-turn so really well played and he goes to Lari here and I would definitely go for Draco here because he's never going to Mac because Mac can win the game for Jama. So I would fire off a Draco, but he just goes for Surf. He turns out to be a Specs, I'm pretty sure, from the damage. So if he Draco'd that, a Mew would have gotten blown out the window. I mean, it would have lifted barely, probably, but it would have taken a lot of damage. Uh, I don't really like the Surf play now, he's forced out. Uh, he stays in, I guess he's fishing for a crit, but like, Jama's just gonna roost up. Not sure why he served again there. So he's forced out um, into. Greninja or Lari? Yeah, I was about to say Greninja or Lari, but Lari was already in. So he's forced into Greninja. Um, he's either gonna get up a spike here predicting the Toxapex, uh, or he can double back into Lari predicting the Toxapex. Like, Ujama's 100% going um, Pex or Gren here. I'm really surprised that he went Gren, like, I would have gone Pex. Um, but I guess he must have predicted. Yeah, I, okay, I understand why he made that play. Um, because Lari, it's hard to, for Jama to switch into Lari. So if Zuta is double to Lari there and he goes Pex, that would be uh, a rough turn. Like it would be rough for Jama to switch into that. Um, and also, if you predict spikes, that also works going into Gren, if this, especially if this Gren is choice. So it's worked out really well for Jama. <coughs> I assume Jama is now gonna get his own spikes up. He wants to weaken Sutra's team. His Magirna um, can pretty much win the game later then. <coughs> so he goes on the mag here on the spikes. Um, he's either going to Florican predicting Lando or Volt switching predicting Pax. Let's see. As Ojama goes Lando. Jutra is like, nah boy, not for free today. He goes for Florican. Um, he's never staying in here. He needs his healthy. So Ojama can predict the switch here and go for rocks. Oh, Jama can also go for U-turn to keep momentum, but he wants rocks, this makes a lot of sense. And now I would probably just save the Landris if I was a Jama. I'm a bit surprised that he saved it to go into packs. Um, unless he specifically predicted the surf here. Because Landris is not doing that much. Like Pax is not necessary, but like also Land what is Landris doing? Like Pax is doing a little bit more than Lando is doing, in my opinion. So I would have sacked the Lando instead. But this worked out for him. He's gonna vault into Lari here. Let's see if he just goes for Scald. Okay, so he decides to go for Toxic. That's a really nice play. Uh, he knew that he probably would go into Lari there. Um, the Lele and the Gren would both get um, like the Gren is already poisoned. The Lele would also get poisoned and take. Rocks, spikes, and a potential skull. So it makes sense that uh, he goes Lari because then he only has to take rocks, he doesn't have to take spikes and T spikes. So Toxic in there was actually a really nice play. So, like now, I would think he would take the land again, but he sacks the packs, so he just doesn't want his packs, it seems. Um, like I said, I, th I feel like Lando did less than packs, so I'm not sure why he sacked that. So he goes in the Greninja here, and I feel like he's. Probably gonna fire off a hydro pump. The Lari is locked into psychic, so hydro pump is pretty free. Hydro pump hits every like hits everything else pretty hard. Uh, so it does just go on a mag here, and if this pump connects, he's gonna be super low, and the opposing mag becomes more scary. But he dodges. Um, but yeah, in the long run, I think Jama's mag is looking like it can win this for sure. So now he thanks the uh, Landris. I think he's gonna floor in here. Yeah, and now. Is Ojama gonna go to a mag now and set up? Yeah, exactly. So he's gonna shift gear here, I assume. And yeah, the correct Magirna set. Magirna set. I really have trouble pronouncing that name. Um, the correct set just wins for him here. Um, so he short floor can earlier. If he Z Twinkle tackle, that's gonna kill the Landris. Um, so that goes in the mag. So I think he predicted like a regular frog can. Not sure what 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 he predicted there. He, he predicted the Ice Beam or a regular Frillican. But yeah, his mag is able to eat that. 
A jammer now goes for focus blast and hits. Um, so this is the set that we have seen uh, used in World Cup by Team Germany a lot. The focus blast, twinkle tackle coverage, um, the very fighting coverage. I think it's common in the last slot. So and uh, this pretty much just wins the game now if he can connect the focus blast on the Mawile. And if he can connect Flurkin on the other mons. So he goes Mawile here. Um, it's a plus one and after has its focus blast definitely kills this. He just has to connect. Let's see if he can connect his mag as well. Trained goodbye Mawa. He gets another boost. Uh, the game is pretty much over now. Unless uh, Zuchtkrest can get a dodge. So Flokan connects as well. It goes to minus two, but he gets another boost. Flokan nice and broke. <laughs> so he goes to land. I mean, he plays to the end. He can still dodge. So that's understandable that he's still playing. Uh, it connects again. Now he's back at neutral. Um, so like he said, minus one, but he goes back to neutral because of soul heart. And he just forfeits. And yeah, I'm gonna pause real quick, and we'll be we will be right back with game two. Okay, back with a uh, game two. Looking at the teams, it's probably Specs, Pelipper, potential Z move Mag or Z move Lele. Um, rocks Lando, Spikes, Pharaoh. So they exchange Rocks turn one. It's gonna be Defog Zapdos, uh, Banta probably, and Mega Gyarados, uh, Scarf or Z move Victini, but probably Scarf Victini. So he goes on the Pharaoh here to block a lead sheet. And I assume Ujama is going to now knock off Zutrest's lefties and Zutrest is going to get up a spike. I assume Ujama does not have spikes. Um, since he has a Victini and a Zapdos like he, and, a, and a Gyarados, like, uh, he's going to be defogging most of the time. So he only has rocks. He doesn't have rocks plus spikes, which makes a lot of sense. So he goes into Zapdos now. He's already like, kind of trying to... Like he wants to defog. Uh, Zutrest makes a fire double into Tapu Lele. Ujama is now forced to go into Celesteela here. Let's see if Zutas doubles again, breaking the Celestila. He just goes for Calm Mind. Um, so let's see if there's like an all-out pummeling. I don't know if that would actually kill. Giga Volt Havoc would be fire here. Giga Volt Havoc would kill. He just goes in the Pelipper here. Breaking a heavy slam, I assume. And yeah, this should be specs. So Ojama can just protect this guy what this locks itself into, right? And he does go for Hurricane. So now Ojama knows um, this is locked into Hurricane and he can just stay in here. Um, I assume Zutas is gonna go Ferrothorn to block a leech sheet since the rain is up flame so it doesn't do too much to Ferrothorn So it's uh, pretty much free to go Ferro here. Let's see if Ojama plays that or if he just plays it safe uh, He does just play it safe here. Um, so now He can um, go for like a leech sheet here breaking the Zapdos to come out Yeah, Ojama it's either gonna roost or defog here, and uh, Zutas can just spike in case he defogs, like he gets the hazard back. And this is just not working out optimally for Ojama. Eventually, he also has to. Um, eventually, he also has to roost because um, of the seeds and stuff. And we got the phone in the back. Let me pause it real quick, guys. My bad. Okay, so he goes in the Palipper here to get some leech recovery, expecting a defog slash roost. Um, so that's a nice play, and he also gets the rain back. He can now go on his perth. Uh, Ojama anticipates that really nicely and goes in the Feral Thorn. And Ojama can now get his hazards back up. Um, Zuklas is definitely not gonna stay in here. He goes in the Landris. Ojama is gonna get his rocks. Um, Zuklas is also gonna get his rocks back here. Um, Ojama can either knock him off or go back into Zapdos. He probably decided to knock him off. Um, now Zutrest can uh, U-turn back into his own Feral Zone to block a Leech Seed. Uh, U-turn is just pretty much free. Like if the opponent switches, you get momentum. If he stays in, you can just go Feral and block the Leech Seed. And now, um, so, um, I would probably go for Leech Seed here if I was Zutrest. Because the switch in the Zapdos is quite obvious. Because like if you sp like if you spike again here, um, like he's gonna defog anyway. So like def I think leeching there would have been a fire play, but yeah, he's gonna defog here pretty much. Um, that's what he has to do. The hazards are getting like two or nothing otherwise. Um, I would probably double out here if I was Zutrest. It's it's kind of tough to because if you double to Lily, yes, that covers the Pharaoh if you have HP fire or Focus Blast, but it doesn't really cover the the, the Celestina. Like, we already know he doesn't have rocks on this, right? He showed rocks on Lando. He goes for Power Punch. Um, I feel like that was like a mid-ground play because if he waterfall, he doesn't want to waterfall into a Ferrosaurn and he also doesn't want to earthquake into a Steela. But I've, I probably would have not made that play because, like, the Pharaoh is not weakened enough. 
So like Earthquake doesn't kill now. Ojama's obviously forced to go for power whip now. But yeah, if I was Zuta SD, I would switch. I would keep this around. I would switch into my own Furrow or something like that. But it's just Earthquakes and power whip, power whip if it connects. Yep, gets rid of the Thorn Bird. Um, yeah, I don't think I would have made that play. So he goes Pelipper here. Not sure if Scald kills um, from Specs Pelipper. Otherwise, he's gonna have to go for like uh, Heart of Humble Hurricane. But his Skull probably killed because he went for it. Uh, he doesn't get a burn, so Jama's just gonna go for a Crunch. The Ferrozone is still too healthy, so there's no point in setting up. As those guys goes Ferro, this doesn't have a Lefty, so like even though it's still pretty healthy, this is not too too bad. Um, he's probably just gonna get a Spike back up. Jama goes to his own Ferro. Um, yeah, Jama can use the opposing Ferro to get more Lefties on his Ferro, so that's understandable. He goes on the Pelipper here and... I think he's gonna go to his, um, exactly, to his Gyarados. Uh, because Gyarados doesn't do much for Jama this game. And now he can, because this does two things for Jama. One, if he goes for a water move there, the Gyarados can eat the water move up. And threaten Pelipper out and thin rocks up at the moment. Pelipper if it comes back and will have to take rocks. And two, if he goes for Hurricane and kills the Gyarados, then he's locked into Hurricane and now Jama can go into Cheetar and get rid of this with a Pursuit, a Choice Bandit Pursuit. And even if Zuthas predicts that and stays in, it doesn't matter because Cheetar can eat up Hurricane. And yep, he just switches, he gets Pursued, he's dead. And yeah, this is looking pretty bad now for Zuthas. Uh, he lost his, um, his Rain and he, uh, before that he also lost his Swift Zoom user. Uh, so he goes on the Landris here, I assume to get his Rocks back. Gemma just goes into Zapdos expecting a rocks slash U-turn. Um Ozama is probably just gonna defog here. Um Oh he HP is yeah, okay, okay. He's scarf not scarf, he's fast HP as Zapdos, which is pretty standard these days that Zapdos is uh, fast, but sometimes it doesn't have HPIs. But it makes sense on this team. Uh actually he also has a stealer to check Lando, but it's still yeah. Still nice to have. And at this point I don't see Zootlist winning at all. Um the Celestia is pr still pretty healthy. The Victini is also healthy, even though there's Hazard's up. Victini can check Mag. Um, he, like, he can just use Victini to check Mag. And he can just use Celestia to check this Lele. Um, and he also, like... It doesn't matter. He can afford to sack this up to the Defog. So, like, that means Victini is even more healthy. So, yeah, he commands up here. Um, he's probably gonna go for, like, a Psychic or Psy Shock. Jama sacks off his Feral Thorn. He comments again predicting a sack, I think. That was a nice play. But it's a Celest... Well, not even it's a Celest Dealer. He can just go Victini here. I was about to say it's a Celest Dealer. Celest Dealer can take the hit up plus two. Uh, but there's no uh, reason to risk that. He can just go to Victini here and click V Create. He does just do that. And he pretty much gets a kill. And the game ends. If, if Victini... Uh, if Majorna comes out, I guess... Ma Magirna, I really, I cannot pronounce that name. Then he doesn't have to, um, I guess he doesn't have to risk it. Wait, he switched out, so maybe he's not, oh no, no the reason why he switched out is, um, if he also kills the Pharaoh, he gets another speed, um, he gets another defense drop, and if he gets another defense drop, he could potentially die to Mag with his Victini. Um, pretty sure, not, pretty sure that's why he switched out, but not 100% sure. So I assume he's gonna go for a knockoff here, right? Spikes, okay. Wait, what, was it, what was even the moveset? He never showed knockoff, he showed spikes. And these sheet. He does to Fire Punch. Uh, Battle Fire Punch is pretty much the perfect move in this scenario because it kills Pharaoh and it doesn't let Max set up and he just forfeits. Um, because, yeah, there was a Victini and the status layer was still healthy. But yeah, um, I, I recorded like two, um, I recorded two live games before this and my voice is already kind of dead and I messed up a little bit and my, apo my apologies. But yeah. I'm happy that my net is back. Um, earlier I really thought my router died. That was uh, super annoying, but I could fix the issue. And yeah, what should I call it? I'm super tired now, so um, this is the third upload of the day. This is gonna go up. Everything's gonna go up today. And the next day when I wake up, I'll like do my best to like upload more. But like I'm just saying, telling you guys, like they have not, they have <laughs> the uploads haven't been that many. Like I wanted to upload more. But now, like, most issues are fixed, and there will be more uploads. I'll do my best. Um, 
yeah, have a fantastic day. Hope you all enjoyed. And you guys can see you, Gemma 1, 2, and 0. Oh. And in the, um, I uploaded the other series the other day. That was Ojama. Uh, not Ojama. That was Empo versus Black Oblivion. And the winner of that is going to be facing versus Ojama now. And that series already happened. But yeah, I pretty much recorded it live. You guys can stay tuned for that. It's going to be coming. And yeah, peace out. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.